Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In this video, I'll be going and talking about all things Canva websites. So Canva websites or Canva just released uh, a new doc type called websites and they've added some new features recently and I just wanted to go through it all and how you can use it um, and kind of like how to add certain links, etc. So as a web designer, I think this is great. I think this is a cool feature, uh, especially for people who like just want something up. Uh, now there isn't a ton of functionality in terms of contact forms or e-commerce or all, like any of that. So it's really simple. It's really pretty much just a one page website um, that you can make work for yourself. So I have like a semi-designed one, which is pretty simple. Um, it's really more informational and then you can link out. So if you have like a shop or if you have an Etsy store or you're on Creative Market or um, you have like a course or, or just like an influencer and want to have something to, to show and then like link to your TikToks or your YouTube channel. Um, or even to showcase some portfolio work. Uh, I think this is suitable for that. Uh, I think for anything more formal or more like with additional functionality, you're gonna have to use the traditional website platforms. Um, but anyways, we'll, we'll start going through how to do this. So every section is essentially a new page. So you can add a new page and design whatever you want there. Um, and you'll do that just the same way as any other Canva uh, file. So you have elements, uh, you have templates, um, images, etc. So you can have and access all of that. Now you can add links by clicking whatever you want to link and then going to this icon right here, link, and then either choosing another page in the document, another uh, template design, or adding your own URL. So it could be an Etsy shop link or whatever you want or a newsletter sign up. So you can do that so you have linking capabilities. And then if you go here to where it says notes, uh, you can add a page title. And so if you scroll down, I have services here about sign up. And that will serve as the navigation bar if you choose to have one. So we can go here to preview. And you can see here that it's really just a nice scroll scrolling section. But up here, there is a navigation and it, it, and it follows you. So let's say I want the about section that's going to go there, services, sign up, whatever. And this again is where like how you title that specific page that what is what shows up. This will link out and you can also choose to not have a navigation. So that should won't have that white bar on the top. Um, now, I haven't really seen where you can update this. Um, there doesn't seem to be too many options for it right now. Um, but, I mean, it's still pretty cool that you can have that. So, at least it's creating some sort of anchor link to, you know, the site. And then this is what it would be full screen. And then you have the option to resize on mobile. So you have the desktop and then the mobile. So mobile is pretty good. Um, I mean, it, it works. It's legible. Uh, I wish there's a little bit more control over it, but uh, you're not like really able to change all that much. But again, it's legible. It'll get the job done. Uh, then finally, if you want to publish the, the website, you can do that. And you can do that in a couple ways. You can publish by keeping it 
to a free domain, so a Canva domain, which would be like canva.com slash number, 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 letter, 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 right? So whatever it is. You can purchase a new domain or you can use an existing domain. So you can uh, use, um, let's say that one, and then or add another domain. I don't know if that's an actual one, but you know, we'll see. And then you'll save the domain settings. So then um, from wherever you have your domain, you'll have like uh, a record, whatever, like all of this information is right here. And then it's going to connect it. So you can publish it. I will say that's probably like one of the cooler features now. I think before I would have been a little bit more hesitant to recommend it just because I'm not someone who likes uh like free domains in terms of like canva.com slash blah 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 or wix.com slash da 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 like i think those tend to look unprofessional but if you can add your own domain i think that's great oh. and that's pretty much it i mean like you have a lot of the capabilities to a degree you can add more pages, you can delete them, duplicate, etc., and add whatever content you need. Um, and you do get some insights. Um, once you publish the website, you can see like views, traffic, engagement. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely check it out if this is something you need. Uh, and I hope this helps. Thanks so much.